weeks after we started filming with our new club, Rains Park Vale, Dorking Wanderers needed a friendly, for reasons that we've pretty much forgotten that may become clear after we've written this intro. What with Rains Park gaffer Josh Gallagher working over at the Wanderers Academy, it was a no-brainer for him to bring his squad down to Meadowbank to give the Wanderers a bit of a test. And for us, it provided the perfect crossover episode, allowing us to introduce the Vale to our Dorking audience, who have yet to give them a try. And yes, they are wearing dressing gowns, and that is entirely normal for them. With at least one faulty microphone and one manager sickness bug, this episode is not going to go as planned. Instead of covering that up, we figured we're just going to be honest with you. This episode is a bit of a mess. Much as Dorking were in their last fixture, an away defeat to Gateshead that saw them lose 6 0. Unfortunately, we weren't there to film it. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. And so, let's allow Mark to paint a picture of what's happening with his insides. How are you feeling? Basically, Rich, it's coming out of me like lava. <laughs> and um, I'm fucked, mate. What's your plan of action for the evening, then? Well, the plan of action is talk to the players over the phone, talk to the management team over the phone, and then miss probably only my Honestly, eighth game in 23 years, including friendlies. Can you, can you just tell us quickly why we're having this friendly? Well, we've got too many boys and not full fitness, and being only two mornings, we can't get them. We can't get them to where they need to be. Just the training and doing 20 minutes off the bench. So it was a, a seesaw between a seesaw between risk injuries or have a meaningful game. One second, Mitchell. Uh, one second. Is that all right? Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Well yeah. done, Mitch. Well done. That's taking about to. The management team, if, if they can't deal with cope with this, then that tells you everything you want to fucking know. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Chin, Chinny, how are you doing? All right. Good. Looking sharp. Josh, you okay? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Good. How are you doing? All right. It feels like more of like a proper club now, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like compared to when we were down here, cut down to was just saying that he was like, I reckon, I reckon you'll give us a game tonight. No kit. <laughs> no kit. <laughs> no. So we've got no no tops and no shorts. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So someone going to get it or? Yeah, Carl's gone to get it. He's got an hour <laughs> to get there and back. <laughs> Mitch is letting us borrow some shorts <laughs> to do the warm-up. Yeah. So Mitch is going to sort us out some shorts because we've got no yeah. kit. No shorts. Uh, we've got no shorts or tops. No okay. tops? No, for, Why? for the game. Why? Because Carl and Connor forgotten them. How did they forget them? I don't know. They're at the club still, somehow. They, they went to the club to get the kit. Yeah, they got, all, they got everything but that. But the shirts and the shorts. Yeah, yeah. Socks were in the baskets. Socks were in the baskets, and the t-shirts and jumpers, warm-up ones, were in another bag, and they forgot so, them. So they went. So they went to put the kit in a bag. No, no, no. The kit was in a bag, but they left the bag. They left the kit bag. So what did they, they, bring? they, 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 they bought? Jumpers, they bought everything. Jumpers, coats. <laughs> Twenty-five shorts. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah. Oh, Socks as well. The Don't say anything either. Say what? <laughs> If you've watched the two Rains Park episodes, you may have ascertained that before each match, Rains Park have a team bonding element. Whether that's rolling ping pong balls, saying nice things to each other, or on this occasion, arriving in dressing gowns. Brad Sweeney took the situation a step further, or perhaps even too far, when unbeknownst to his gaffer, Sweeney asked Josh's partner Kaylee if he could borrow her dressing gown. I can't believe you're wearing that. <laughs> I didn't that even. Roses. Do you know what it's Shut up. I phoned Kaylee. She didn't down. even pick up the phone. And uh, she phoned me up and said, oh, I had Brad round. Oh. And I was like, sorry? So, yeah, what were you doing? Why can't you forget your phone? Uh, I wasn't near my that phone. Is well. <laughs> that is Kaylee's as well. That is Kaylee's. Wow. So, how are you? Sweens is also wearing uh, my yeah. missus' <laughs> dressing gown because he's been round there to do a job. Yeah. Horrendous. The gaffer's not well. Did you hear that? Oh, is he not? He's not here tonight. No, he came to the car park and he'd done a, a voiceover thing to the team. Oh, that's it, now he's gone. He's gone home, yeah, he's just done it. Save the embarrassment when, he, when we beat him. No, he could, <laughs> could fucking well be, you know that. He, could, he wouldn't be able to stop it. I didn't know that. He'd fucking struggle. So Jack, Mark's not even turned up, he shit himself. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. He's just in case. Yeah, just yeah. in case. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have you seen this, Chatler? Wayne's Park Bar and Dorking Wanderers kit, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll start the first 15 gap if you want. I think you and me both will. Right guys, get yourself settled, get yourself a pair of Dawkins shorts because we ain't got our kit yet. Warm up top and warm up jumper on. Right boys, we've got to listen up. The gaffer's not well, so he's not coming. Got the shits. Okay, as is gonna um, sing on Saturday and the dressing gowns we'll do after. Okay, just because we are running well behind. Right, everyone feeling okay? Yeah, yeah let's make sure we got our minds on it now, please. Okay, we need to be switched on. All right, in terms of this lot, they've obviously got beat 6-0 at the weekend. All right, against Gateshead, traveled up there, St. George's halfway, did a nice little training session, stayed overnight, and then got their asses handed to them and then come back. All right, so Mark's fuming. All right, they want a reaction. Expect a fucking reaction. All right, in terms of their team, they've gone all out, strong as they can. Obviously, give players some minutes. Hello. Hello, mate. Okay. Yeah, listen, change of plan, yeah? Where, are we all there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I've got a sickness bug, so what I'll do is I'll just go in the uh, dugout, but nowhere near any players. I've been fucking ill last couple of hours. There's quite a lot going around. So, in terms of them, all right, they'll very simply play a 3-5-2. All right, you've got Barry Fuller right centre half, Tony Craig left centre uh, centre half, and you've got the new player Hayden Hollis playing left centre half. Okay, six foot four, swings running down the sides. Nothing in terms of diags going this side. All right, because he literally will just Brad don't stand a chance. Let's go out probably. I'd say five minutes earlier, and I'll have a chat on the pitch. We can't get on the pitch till seven anyway. Why not? Because there's all kids on there. I don't understand. What, what, there can't be kids on there. There's about a thousand kids on there. <sighs> Fuck me. But be really confident, all right? Be really confident. If they do beat the press, get back behind the ball, okay? Make it very difficult. Make them play in this, in, in this area here. If they're going to do anything, they're going to cross, all right? Worst case scenario, they cross. We fucking deal with the cross. We just get bodies in the box. We deal with the cross. I honestly believe that we can cause an upset here. I really do believe that. But the only way you're going to do that is if you come off this pitch. I know it's a friendly, but if you come off this pitch and you want to win this game, you are going to have to do something you've never done before in terms of fucking work hard, fucking dig deep, fucking put every fucking ounce of effort into this that you fucking can't go to work tomorrow because you're fucking ill. That's what it's going to take if you want to win a game like this. Right, so if we can just go out there, uh, bang on seven, yeah? Yeah. And I'll speak to everyone out there, OK? Simple as that. That's the plan. I come out. Well, that boy's start getting changed. <laughs> Kits is on its way, and it's going to be here, bang on quarter two, bang on for kickoff. So we're hoping that that'll be, yeah, hoping we're all good. Maybe just a little delay in the kickoff. We might actually make it really funny and go out onto the pitch as we are, take the kit out and just get them all changed up in the kit in the middle of the pitch. Yeah. Just go right, change your shorts, change your tops. Yeah. And then take the shorts over to Mitch over in the dugout. <laughs> yeah, most important thing is minutes. But the thing is with the with the team talk, it's you don't want the players just to think that because straight away mentality is an issue there. And we've struggled with that when it's not a game that really means anything. We've always been a league team, you know. So when it comes to a situation of a cup or anything like that, unless it's FA Cup, FA Trophy, or FA Vars, we've always been a bit lightweight with it and always been a bit into it, like because the squad changes, everyone's mentality is like, oh, okay, it's just minutes and so on. So you try and get them up for it as much as they can, but. There's only so much you can do, but realistically, you get a message on a Sunday night going, we're playing Dawkins Wanderers Step 1 yeah. on a Tuesday night instead of training at our yeah, awful yeah. training pitch. You're going, what would you rather do? You know, you've got a lovely facility, lovely pitch, good club. You know, you don't need any motivation for that. You're probably coming up against the likes of Barry Fuller, Tony Craig, that I'll say Dan Gallagher because he's biased, uh, <laughs> Jason Pryor, people like that. And you're going like, you know, they, they need to be up for it. If they're not, then it could be embarrassing, which I'm hoping it's not. I've got full faith in the boys, so... But I know for a fact that if Dawkins are on it, we could be in trouble all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Despite telling us he wouldn't do a team talk, Mark does a team talk on the pitch, but obviously without a mic on. Still, we did manage to find a hazmat suit and pop a mic on his lapel so that we could do an interview. Went to date, said, trained at St George's Park on the Friday. You'd, lo you'd love that. The best thing about a 6-0 defeat, we got beat 6-0, and we... 
out past Gateshead. I think it's the first, they've got the number one possession in the National League by some distance. And we had a sort of 58% possession to their 42, which is, you know, not to be sniffed at. Seven shots on target, six goals, them. After the game, I knew it was a bit of an anomaly, the result. It wasn't it, it, the result. The, the anomaly was how to fuck with that much possession and, you know, and, and the outcome was defensively we were wank. Yeah, I mean, obviously, as I said before, I double-checked Jake Gallagher weren't playing. Obviously, he's the original bushwhacker. But they've also got about another nine or ten. But listen, fucking, that's how it should be. You know, I don't mind that at all, as long as they're not silly. If my boys get caught on the ball, they should get a whack. Um, they're top of their league. I actually think step four has got better. Um, I've been impressed with it. You know, we've been watching Walton and um, in their division last year and these games have a lot of pace. There's, you know, we see the amount of step four teams that got left in the FA Cup. Um, these lot are top of the league. They're going to enjoy the outing. They're a bunch of amateurs um, affiliated. They need like the little silver sticker on them. And we like them as well. We like the Gallaghers, real football people. Um, and yeah, the idea is we, um, we just hope there's no, nothing too naughty because obviously we would have to stop the game. Then we couldn't possibly, you know, the, the players have got to be controlled. Right, so the plan is the kit's going to be here, bang on quarter two. Okay. All right, so I'm going to bring it out to the pitch before we start. Yeah. Everyone's going to get naked, put the tops on, put the shorts on, and I'm going to get all the shorts together and I'm going to hand them over to you. That's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Well, if it works perfectly to plan, that's what I want to do, because yeah, it'll be quite funny I'll, as well. I'll, I'll bring a bag, I'll bring a bean liner. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So it'll be, yeah. yeah. But if it doesn't, obviously it comes early, we'll just do it in the changing room. Yeah, but yeah. if it's like not, and we'll like come out. Just come out with nothing. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> <Just come> out. <laughs> we were thinking about doing that as well. Would you imagine? Jace, Alf, Macca. Stay out of trouble, like, don't play in pockets to your mate, no, these sort of teams, just keep the ball moving, don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, just don't, don't, don't twist, turn, take on two people, take a challenge, just, just keep the ball moving. Because they definitely won't give a fuck. No, yeah. They're actually, they're really good. Yeah, yeah they're, top, they're top of that Leverage League. Yeah. And that's all right, that league, this year. Yeah. It's all right, that league, this year. When, um... When Jerry's got the ball on his left side, he's not going to kick the ball very far with his left foot. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so Dyson will tend to come feet all right, to off up that angle so he's got something just at least if he can hook it on or, or set you and then you can stab it and do what you can. If Dice does move forward, which he might, may do, you're then that person that's got to offer up that angle. Okay, for Jerry. Just to receive the ball, just receive it feet. You're good with the ball at your fucking feet. Feel it, turn it if you can. If not, just play backwards. Just look to hold on to it. Just don't lose it. Eat Bobby up tonight, Greeny. Heat him up. Start the game fast, alright? Must be a fast start, must be switched on. Get at him today, alright? Yeah, get at him causing problems. They've got a great side. They're that, their um, cousin's supposed to be good, isn't he? That Jordan Gallagher. Yeah. Got all their different balls and stuff. They've got two balls the same, have they? He's close, he's close. Is he? Mikkelum. He's gonna, he's gonna make it, he's gonna right, make it. about it. five, ten minutes, I think. <laughs> Change your shorts. We have got nine minutes. I think, so. I think they said they were going to push kickoff anyway. All right. Can you, can you phone Carl, please? Thank you. He's coming around the Mickle and Benz. Is he okay? Yeah. Road. Just make sure the equipment's in after, please, with the subs. Is that all right? Thank you. Make sure the equipment's in, in, please. Yeah. Well, we need to go in. I need to get sort of the kit out and stuff. Oh, yeah. And let them know, probably, as well. Guys, you're starting. When you're ready, in you go. <laughs> you're not letting them know yet. No, well, I've let them know. All right. All good. After they play, Dan. 4 3 3. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Right, get ourselves in here. Kit's going to be five minutes, OK? He's literally coming around the Mickle and Benz. It's a full, it's a full press game, yeah? Bob, full press game, yeah? OK? I'm absolutely fine. Harrison, you need to play the first one you see really fucking early. And if they're under pressure, you'll just go get it back centre half. OK? Um, I'm absolutely fine, lads. Just going bosh, bosh and putting it into winger's feet. Totally fine. I'm absolutely fine just beating the press in one ball and then we'll transition it like we do across the field from there. Understand? Right, make sure our minds are set for the game, okay? Switched on, doesn't matter about kit or anything. When you enter that fucking pitch, over that white line, it's fucking 11 v 11, all right? Make sure we're fucking amongst it. Five minutes delay, they've got a kit down, I mean, fuck me. <laughs> Once it settles and we feel it, we can play. It is a friendly, they may sit off at times, okay? So if they do, realise it, be aware of it, can we play, all right? But be confident. Okay, be confident. It's fucking 11 humans against fucking 11 humans. It ain't fucking anything special. All right, make sure you fucking go out there, put a good account of yourselves. Okay, good, let's go. Come on. 
You like that? Yeah? And corners as well, please. Any socks? Palace corners, the first one's going to go to the back post, yeah. all right, and then the second one's on the six yard line in the middle of the goal, okay? And then the next one can be a short one if you want to, if you want to do it. All right? Doesn't worry about, don't worry about no, uh, numbers, just sort of get, get number, what number you can do, obviously because they are sizes, I guess. 19's Jerry, 16's Kante. No, I think that's 11 out there, isn't there? I hope it is. That's about summed us up, really. <laughs> I don't even know if we've got 11 players out there. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> this sums up our preparation. This could be awful. This could be horrendous. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me the way we've set up. Well, what a fucking shambles this has been so far. <laughs> Pull your shin pads up. You're not seeing this, this, this step four, let alone this lot. It's fucking carnage. Oh, mate, it's no fucking about. Hello. Nice to meet you. Pablo, hello mate. Are you all right? Is that a porn star name? No, no, no. I can assure you not. We just get to warm up this side, the subs. Hi right, mate. Right, just buy yourself Paul for the purposes of the night when you're... How are we doing? Pablo, nice to meet Josh, you. Josh, nice to meet we you too. We just get the subs to warm up that Down end there, for same. me. Yeah, no worries. Right? Yeah, you're all good, good. thank you. Although dorking our three divisions above Rains Park Vale, the visitors are riding high in the Isthmian South Central Division, while dorking are struggling for form in the National League. So we're expecting a closer game than perhaps one might expect, based on their homes within the football pyramid. Dice down the line, over hit that. Reese, great start. Greeny. Beating Palace, beating Palace. As a super. A lively start sees youngster Palace Francis take on Baz Fuller before whipping a shot in for Harrison Mail to deal with. He's definitely good on the left, isn't he? He's definitely good on the left. Gateshead's resounding victory over the Wonders a few days earlier might well have left the players with a confidence issue. So seeing new signing Hayden Hollis look like a massive brick wall that is capable of playing the ball quite comfortably is going to help Mark's side feel a bit more resolute at the back. Canal time. Drive, drive, drive! But still, the Vale are going to try and make the most oh. of the home side's lack of confidence. Hit it, Swings, just hit it. Swings, have a shot next time, please! No reverse passes. Do it, grit, do it! Come on, tight as you like, tight as you like, tight as you like. Swing round here, distance is here. Josh's side are pressing high and energetically and stopping Dawkins' pattern is a satisfying outcome for them. Tony, Tony, that's you, that's you. We'll be right, keeping this up for 90 minutes with me. Swing, swing, runners, 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 runners. Good answer, Joey, get back in. Tight. First strike. It's a big team, TC, Pryor, <laughs> Hayden and Dan. Big attackers attacking the ball there for them. <laughs> Dorking's players are way bigger, but they'll need to deliver a decent cross to make the most of it. To their credit, Reigns Park are looking to play out from the back if they, if they can. Back, mate, what are we doing? What are we doing? As a, as a overplayed, and Smithy should, Smithy shouldn't even play into him anyway. Dorking overplay and don't punish, and that allows Reigns Park to fly up the other end. Well done, well done, well done. That was a good start. Started really well, and then um, yeah. Vale have started pretty well, although the home side are beginning to assert dominance in the form of corner kicks, and with no fans to wind up, they're being taken fairly quickly. Well, we've had a couple of, we've had a couple of little opportunities. Josh's own brother Dan draws a save as Dorking turned the screw. <laughs> Jerry, J Jerry, just open up! He's going to keep going. That's a good lad. Can they stay central? Can they stay central? Go do it, go do it! Oh. As I was there as well, he did everything right. Route one. Route one at the Wanderers. 
Harrison Mell goes long to Alfie Rutherford and the striker gets a much needed boost by firing low into the corner to get his first goal in a Dorking shirt since, we think, the Boreham Wood defeat 15 months earlier. 20 minutes it took. Feels like it's been longer than that. <laughs> Doesn't feel like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we I'm happy with that. We're fucking yeah, there. Nearly half time, isn't it? Hi up! Turn! Two men up! Get up! Palace, great reaction. Palace, great reaction. We've done alright. We've started well. I've got to be quite happy with how we've done. Just little things and they, they look like they could score out of anything. <laughs> the Vale have not looked out of place here and they've got the players with the courage to have a go. And hit it. Mm. Okay, mate. Palace is not good to be fair. No, it's right. Great touch. Great touch. Hit it. As we're in training, where does that go? Fuck, you're straight in the top corner. As we're in training. It seems Reigns Park are really beginning to believe that they can get back in the game. Swings! Winger Brad Sweeney is the latest to force Harrison into making a save. It's Reese has come over. Even though it's a friendly, there is always a risk of injury, particularly against a Gallagher led side. So when James McShane goes down, there's a collective holding of breath. Yeah, lovely touch, Macca. Is he? Macca's down. He's in pain. <laughs> don't be injured, don't be injured, don't be injured. <laughs> What happened? Oh, I left ankle. Left ankle. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't understand what he's done there. Have you done anything? Which bit in front of it? With that bit there is. Twisted it. Yeah. Nothing twisted it. Macca looks like he's going to be okay, and Josh won't yet face the wrath of Mark. Yeah, all good, all good. When Dan Gallagher gets side to the ground, his own brother refuses to give him any sympathy. <laughs> Fuck off, Dan! Got a forward. Alfie's fucking limping. Harry, you go on, mate. Alfie might have scored, and yet he doesn't look comfortable, so Mark's not going to take any chances. Ah, uh, Harry. That's a lovely touch. Palace Alfie. go wider! Hey! Alf, no good. Jermaine, love that. Huh? You're limping, Alf. Alf, don't fuck yourself, are you mad? Mark's not in the best of moods, and what with it being a friendly, he's not going to pay any attention to the lino. And for the record, we really like that lino. He refed child games back in season one, and he was really good. It does not matter. Fuck off. Don't be so fucking stupid. Don't, it does not matter. Are you bored? Don't get fucking bored. Come on, man. Just enjoy yourself. Don't get bored and start being one of them wankers. Just get on with it. If they're in your way, I understand that. They're fucking there. Look, look, look! No! No, you don't you shouldn't need to ask at all. It's a fucking friendly. Get them on. Time, time, time! Just stand up, delay, 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 delay! Delay! Spy, well done, Frank Burton, please! Well done! Pablo, mate, next time out. Pablo, that's what you're here for. Substitutions, watching the fucking game. That's all you're here for, mate. Alfie Rutherford seems to have gotten over his limp, and that means that the hot dog is no longer required. He's moving all right now, H. You're going to get annoyed. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, that's a good response time. Right, let yourself go. Travel, Dan, travel. <laughs> Let yourself go. Smithy. Smithy needs to be coming for that my liking. Don't fail. Stand up. Stand up. Delay. Delay. Good. Affect it. Affect it. Affect it. Good. Go Why? Swings, go swings. Wider. Wider. Yeah. We can't confirm whether or not Lino Pablo got this offside call correct. We just know that everyone else is in agreement that he didn't. Fucking <laughs> Pablo's having one of me. Fucking Pablo. <laughs> I mean, it's the least offside ever. <laughs> 
Pablo, mate, I reckon you might got that wrong. <laughs> what do you reckon? If you had to put your mortgage on it, if you had to put your mortgage on it, Pablo, what do you reckon? I'm not old enough to have a mortgage, mate. <laughs> I don't mind that, mate. Yeah, that'll do, yeah. Don't let, don't do that to Jimmy. Don't try and shield it out to Jimmy because he's like a beam. Yeah, yeah. It's like, just, like him. I know you just skim through. I looked that way. I looked that way. He wasn't even. Guys, I looked that way. That's He's like a glitch as well. He just fucking glitches from one place to another. There's a few things. There's a few things we can do better and just be aware of. But you don't want them overthinking it and then that. You want them to play the flow of the moment. I watch some of it from here while I talk to people over there. Like good performance, really. Done really well. It has been. Organised. A few people over here we saying how we look organised, shuffling across the pitch. Yeah. Uh, whenever, uh, listen, by the way, last 15 minutes, it's okay, right? Finding overloads, rotations, that's all good. Fine with that, yeah? Uh, whenever teams thought, Tony, brilliant driving in with the ball, that's what we need. That's what we need right now. Right, okay, listen up, settle down. Make sure that door, door's shut, please, out there. Thank you. In terms, of, in terms of overall performance, really happy. All right, really happy. That was good. Okay, really good. You guys were excellent. Really, really good out there. Um, in terms of what was asked of you, aggressive on the front foot, high press, brilliant. Okay, super, forced them to mistakes, gave ourselves good opportunities. All right, to potentially score. I right, could have maybe done better with them. All right, but we've looked dangerous. Okay, we've looked dangerous. And then with that, when they've beaten that or played out with that, I would say percentage wise, I would say probably 60, 70% of it, maybe even a little bit more than that, being, maybe being a little bit picky, has been really, really good. Okay, it's been really, really good. There's times, and I'm being picky with little bits if it's just a split-second movement or a split-second decision where I think maybe we could have pressed or shuffled across or dropped in or passed over. Okay, but again, that's me being a perfectionist, really. But overall, it's been fucking brilliant. And if that hasn't, ha if that hasn't worked out, that next bit, the next phase is then good. The next person's there. We're then making the block. We're then in the box dealing with the cross. Okay, we're then tracking the runner back and, and making, a, making an effort to disrupt them or delay them. All right, so overall, really, really pleased with how we've, how we've done. I can't try to think of how to describe teams at full press. Basically, you could honestly get a team of 100 metre sprinters to full press and give a Premier League team a game. Like, that is the bottom line, right? With half an idea and a bit of pace, anybody, it's an easy game to play. So what you have to do in football is beat the press, find one overload, or just tidy passes. Bang, crisp passes into feet, set, and we're off. That makes sense? Which we've done last 15. Which we've done last 15. Okay? But I think, to be fair, it's a really good training exercise at the moment. I've been really pleased. Generally, been really, really pleased. Okay? Okay, what's really important is, because the next, the next 20 minutes, there's probably going to be a lot of changes from their side. There's going to be a few changes from our side. We've still got to fucking remember, we're in a game. Okay? We're in a fucking game. And it's competitive and we want to fucking win. All right, so don't lose your fucking competitiveness. Don't you lose that fucking aggressive, that fucking competitiveness that we are, okay? We can't lose that as the game goes on. It's very easy in games like this when changes are made, that intensity drops and concentration lops. If we lose our fucking concentration or if our intensity goes, even by 5 10%, we're fucked. We're fucked. So it doesn't matter if there's five changes, six changes, new players, this, 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 whatever. Just fucking stay on it, all right? Don't give what you've given and not have that composure in front of goal. Not give that last little bit in front of goal. It has to mean something. At times, it's those little percentages in terms of being aggressive in front of goal. As we said about when that ball goes out wide, fucking mean something to get in the box. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Have you got any Percy Pigs now? What's that what's about? What's that about now? He wants the armband. Is that the truth? Over, over, over a 10-year period? <laughs> Six. Six. six year over a six year <laughs> period. Good ratio, right? Uh, well, I mean, to be fair, the time, like, that I, the time that I've been captain only amounts to about one game. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's well, hardly well, planning research, is it? It's, well, all, it's hardly enough reason. You guarantee three points, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we get, we get three points <laughs> tonight, Neil. Just go and warm up. Just go and run around. You give me the armband. You give me Just the go and run around. That's saying one nil. Yeah. And Josh Taylor. Oh, good for oh, no, Kennedy. <laughs> Excellent. Good? Yeah, good, thank you. Excellent out there. Why's Josh not going? Yeah. Well, Josh's microphone has gone horribly wrong. A loose connection or something, perhaps. So that's a bugger. We'll try and focus a bit more on the on-pitch action and hope that anything that Josh says is within earshot of Coach Ant's own microphone.
Turn out, turn out. Dorking is slipping back into their comfortable pattern of play. The new defender Hayden Hollis looks like he's gotten to know it already. It probably helps that he came from Ebbsfleet and therefore he is used to a 3-5-2 system. Tight, tight. Hey! How many red? Noel McManus said at half time that he should be captain. He was denied that opportunity by coach Dino. So he's playing like a man possessed, or at least possessed by somebody who has a better shooting ability than him. Macca's holding his ankle then. Who? Macca. Yeah. Jack, let's go, mate. It's a goal that's met with the indifference that McManus normally deserves. Can we deliver? Can we fucking deliver? Come on, come on, deliver! Unlucky, good ball, Bob. Yeah, ball out. Bob, 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 first thought, don't keep fucking passing back. First thought, Pablo, mate, uh, come out of sub. I've forgiven you for losing the plot first half. <laughs> we love seeing Slav Huck back in goal for this half, and we're hoping that Dan Gallagher doesn't do anything to mess up that man's clean sheet. Gotta go with him. Oh, jammy, fuck Dan. Dan's laughing. Did Dan not dive in there, red, red, recklessly? Are oh, you two ready, yeah? Okay. Hold on. Be positive, be positive. Hey, lock this up. Jerry, Reese, lock it up. <laughs> the van is staying pretty positive and they're not short of players who can run with the ball. Mark sports a couple of youngsters on of his own, although it's the more experienced Dan Gallagher that's under the most scrutiny. Talking are not exactly going for the jugular as Rains Park looked to console themselves with a goal against step one opposition. Hayden. Who? What's that? Joe. That's why they call him the Huck, mate. JJ, 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 JJ. I heard a couple of boos when you had the ball, I heard a couple of boos. As Ant gives JJ O'Sullivan a confidence boost, Dino has noticed yet another Gallagher has joined the game. And he's being marked by his cousin Dan. Dan's marking his cousin. His what? His cousin. What about it? Dan's marking him. He's just gone Which on. Which one is he? The 10. It's just come on. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> being pinned back by a rampant Rains Park now, and they'll do well to hold them off. Ref! Ref! Ref, one more! One more do you want, ref? Come on, guys, hit it. Go. Oh. He did it, who did he do it? He did it, he did it the other, the other week, didn't he? Cut okay, and his stripes just like that, yeah. I think it was North, I think it was North, I think. <laughs> Dad, you're laughing. <laughs> With time almost up, the hot dog drives forward, looking for a third. <laughs> is it alright? Is it alright? Yeah. Just send me the bill, yeah? Or don't. Or don't. Or don't. Or don't. <laughs> We've had enough marks. We have had enough moments. Oh, and here go two youngsters who are definitely not Dan Pibus and Josh Taylor. But we don't know who they are. I should, I should probably ask someone. 
Is he alright? Is he okay? How much, how much money do you reckon is in hair transplants on this bench right now? Incredible, isn't it? Mark, Dino's had one done as well. Josh has still got to do his. Josh has still got to do his and then it'll be... <laughs> Man, Cheers for coming down, mate. Appreciate it. Good stuff. All the best. Cheers, mate. Well Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Ross. That's one of the best games you've ever had, Billy. <laughs> what about your What about your flag? Hey, is it four? Boys, come in here, lads. JJ, well done. Well, mate. Well, mate. Good luck. Good luck, and you. I thought, the, I thought the last 15 minutes was really, really good, actually. So I really appreciate that. But I think the youngsters, you all done really well. You all done really, really well. OK, but I thought that's really good. So well done to the youngsters. Good to see you back out there, Seb, yeah? How, how do you feel? Yeah? I've just got to get your ball back, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be back in a minute. They're just going to just go up the high street. <laughs> but it, no, it's, it's nearer than Bobby's, though. That's the concern, yeah? Look, good exercise, yeah? Um, obviously Thursday morning we need to get ready for um, uh, Saturday. Yeah, but good exercise. That worked out tonight. Well done. Good. Really pleased. I'll see you later. Right, foot aside who we were up against. Okay, I thought that was an excellent performance. <coughs> we did really well. Okay, all round for the 90 minutes. I thought it was brilliant. All right, so well done. All right, exactly what we needed to get out of it. Probably a few sore legs in the morning, but nothing serious. Okay, if anything, it's going to do you good. Especially the players haven't played a lot recently. Um, but yeah, I just thought the level of performance was superb. I really did, in terms of the intensity, the tempo, what we asked of you to play that sort of high press, pick and choose, when it wasn't on and we, and we get to sit back in and we had to defend, I did it brilliantly. All right, it's a shame that obviously the goals you look at were a little bit avoidable. The second one was a good, was a good finish. Maybe you let him have a shot a bit too easy, but again, he's, I'd rather him shoot from out there than close, close by and he's stuck in the top corner. So it's one of those things. And that, that's probably summed up in terms of the levels where Dork and I are and where we're at. Okay, let's, I can mine minor, minor details. All right? if, we can, if we can reduce that level of performance against teams that we play against with the intensity and everything, there'll be more mistakes from them team, for their team. All right? More opportunities for us in terms of playing up against players and the quality we've got in here. Again, more opportunities. Okay, We're fucking where we need to be. All right? But we've got to make sure we carry that on. It's no good turning up to a game like this, playing with that intensity, that tempo against a good side. All right, and then turning up on Saturday thinking, oh, it's only faction and so on, and having that sort of negative mindset. So it's making sure that men Mentally, we are fucking ready for Saturday. All right? Well done. Well done. Well done. Come on, go! We accept that's a bit of a random episode, uh, but hopefully that's introduced some of you to Rains Park Vale, so check them out in our second series, um, which is the first series of Rains Park Vale Uncovered, or Rains Park Uncovered. Oh, what a mess. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. It was kind of funny to make, so I uh, hope it was kind of funny to watch.